Hey everyone, Dabloon here, and today is another BTD6 video, and today is what you all have been waiting for. It's going to be Dark Castle Chimps, but it's also called the Best Chimp Strategy Version 2. Because I did a video on this a while back, and as you probably know if you've joined my channel recently or anytime soon, that that is my biggest video, and it's the one that has the most views by like a landslide. And it's just an awesome video because it is the best strategy. I really do think it's the best and I'm going to prove it today by doing this on a, not only an advanced, but an expert map. Because we've done a beginner, we've done a couple of minutes, we've done an advanced and now an expert map Dark Chimp or Dark Castle. I know it's debatable and people say that Dark Castle is the easiest and shouldn't be an expert, but you know what? It's still an expert. So we're going to prove this is the best strategy. It works on so many maps. I'm not saying every map, so it's not the best for every map. But what makes a best strategy? Well, one that's easy, one that's cheap, one that beginners can do, and one that works on a lot of different maps. So I do think this is the best, and we're going to jump right into it, guys. Uh, no monkey knowledge, of course, and we're going to use open. But before we begin, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, leave those comments below, follow on Instagram, follow on Twitch for those live streams, follow the Discord, and just, just follow everything, guys. It's going to be a fun time. But let's jump right in. So we're going to go. Oh, and also, too, with this, if you haven't gotten it yet, you're also going to get Josh's constant, which is be any expert map on chimps with 40,000 or more spent on one spike factory because we're not going to double discount. No spikes or nothing like that. We're going to do this super easy. This is going to be an easy, 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 easy strat. Um, disregard the lack of black borders around these things, but we're going to knock out some dark castle with that black border ribbon and you're going to be totally stoked. And um, yeah, to sit tight, you'll I'll make this very easy. If you guys are new to the channel, or maybe you're not new, but you're new to the game, or whatever it may be, I'm gonna make this as easy as possible that anybody can follow. So let's jump right in, guys. So we're gonna put this guy like what we're trying to do here is so he can be as top to the right here. So top to the right, okay? So this is honestly going to be the hardest part of the entire strategy is placing these guys because the reason being is because it's sort of random. So I've lost this and I've beaten this. So it could happen either way. It should be just fine, but we're, we'll see. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure the auto start is off, of course, because this is gonna be a little bit of a harder map, right? So you wanna make sure you can place everything perfectly, do it super clean, things like that. Now we're not gonna upgrade anything right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab another dart monkey. And I'm gonna put him here and you'd think, why not put him here? But you'll see why later when we have some alchemists, I don't want him hitting this lonely little dart monkey with no upgrades. Him on strong, him on strong, him on first, and this will be chilling all the way up to an oban, I hope. And that's why I said this is the hardest part is because there is randomness to this game that you can't always account for. And if you didn't place your monkeys like right in the same pixels as you did the first time you beat it, because this is my fourth time beating this through, because I wanted to make sure that this is the best way to represent this strategy, because as you guys know, if you've seen my other strategy, I made some mistakes. And mainly the one that I got so many, so many, so many times was that I need six druids instead of five. And I was mistaken, I was wrong, and it, I was told maybe 47,000 times. So. This one's gonna be super clean. I hope I don't make any mistakes, but if I do, I'm sure you'll let me know. <laughs> but other than that, it should be pretty clean. So let's keep on trucking on this thing. And I'm pretty stoked today. I got my cool shirt that changes colors and I've gotten my cool mug. So craziness, guys. But the problem is, is that because it's green and my screen is green behind me, that everything just kind of comes off into like a, a weird, Easy color but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna leave him enough room so don't put him here we're gonna leave enough room to throw a druid right on his left and that's gonna be our avatar of wrath so that's gonna be our main druid so we want to make sure he has enough room right there um, this is where it just turns into easy street because from here on out I mean the only place we might 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 have an issue is going to be round 40 for that Moab but I think I've narrowed it down to where it shouldn't be an issue so um, let's grab 460 for this first druid and I think I even placed Oban a little too far over. So you might want to bring him to the left a little bit. Because usually I have this guy up on like a little lump. So let's put him right here. No big deal though. So put him there. We're going to go here. Druidic Reach. So 001. And we're going to get two Druids up to a 011. 011. So a Thorn Swarm and Heart of... Or whatever I said the first time. The Reach. And with that, it's going to be super awesome. You can use his Brambles if you want. They're really not necessary at this point. 
and I'm honestly not going to use them at level 40 because I noticed that one time I beat level 40 with them specifically so then I found a way to do it without having to use them at all because then one round I did it and it didn't pop it because it was all over here at the very bottom which messed me all up so not cool. So we're going to make this super 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 easy and if this is your first time to the channel, um, I please hope you guys like this. And if you do, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow this thing as crazy as possible. And if you have been here before, or this is, what was I going with that? Basically just like, you can tell in each video, depending on the time of day and what I've done that day is the energy of these videos, which is pretty funny. Um, Cause like right now I'm super stoked and it is later, but I'm super stoked because of this video. I've been waiting to do this for so long just because like the first one is getting so many views and it's growing so big, but it's not perfect, right? Like it's just, there's a lot of mistakes. Um, I'm just not as experienced with the whole YouTube thing. And I know it was only a few short months ago. Like it was only what, like three or four months, but the problem is it just doesn't feel right. So I'm gonna redo it here. We're doing it on an expert map. This thing's gonna be way better. And then no, I don't think anyone should be able to be like, oh, this is not the best strat anymore, or that's debatable because I mean, it works expert, advanced, intermediate. I think I did Spring Spring, Downstream, Another Brick, of course Monkey Meadows, and I'm sure you guys have done a million other strategies with this. And it works on so many maps. Pretty much anything that has one path or anything that you can get it down to one path. So I did it on Spring Spring and I put all of them in the front. And which is pretty hard to do just because you usually put everything in the back so it has time to circle around and stuff. But I did it all in the front with these druids and it works. So if you can just get them if it's a track that has where everything at least at one point gets to one spot and they all come through that area so you can put your druids there, you are chilling. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get this one up to a 0, 2. Yeah, just a 0, 2 right now. 0, 2, 0. And then we're going to upgrade, not upgrade, we're going to buy four more druids because we need six and not five. And I wish I could show you, but I don't think this is fixed yet. Yeah. So usually up here it tells you what each of these little upgrades do but it is broken at this time so i can't show you You're just gonna have to take my word for it that it's awesome to do this and it'll work um could have put the brambles down there but like i said that's what the spike factory is for is to get rid of these or camos that are coming so pretty simple there and we're gonna grab one more for this even faster production and that'll make us pretty clean and that'll cover all the camos that are going to come out for a while and then we have his brambles on 33 if we need them so it's just gonna be pretty simple guys. This whole thing just gonna be to the point, like super easy. I'm gonna tell you where to place it. You're gonna place it and you will have a Dark Castle Chimps Black Border if you've already beaten Half Cash and Impoppable and things like that. And if you haven't beaten Impoppable, turn on your monkey knowledge, do this exact same strategy, use a couple banks and you will be fine. Cause that's what I did and it worked really easily. So now that we did that, we have him on 020. We have two zero one ones. We're gonna grab another one, put him right here. like. Doesn't really matter. I just like to put them in between because I like to stack. You know what I mean? So, and you want them to eventually see the whole track. And so, what we're doing here is right now he can only see like this area, but once he has a, a what do you call a monkey village and a uh, alchemist, it's going to be a lot easier and he's going to see, everyone's going to see across the whole thing. It's going to be really cool. So, use that one. So, 011. One. We're going to grab another one here. So that's four, obviously, and then we're gonna grab a thorn swarm. Remember, you can use your brambles if you want, but as you can see, this is a really strong strategy. You don't really need it, so we're fine. I'm gonna grab, actually though, like the way I place these is kind of weird, so I think I can fit one here instead, but don't do that. I've already mastered it over here, so we're gonna do that. That's fine right there. Druidic reach. So the thing I did here was just throwing me off a little bit is like I said earlier, I put Oban a little too far to the right. It's not going to affect anything. You just have to make sure that when you place all your druids that they can all see each other in their range, which they all can, because once you do the pop lust, um, you need them all to reach each other. But let's say they don't. This is 33, by the way, so I'd throw down your brambles just in case, but you'll be fine with this guy right here. Um, so and if they don't see each other, you're going to, like I said, you're going to have a village. You're going to have a um, alchemist boosting range so you'll be fine in the long run but for now just do that and then we're gonna have this one is zero one zero as well so we have let's make sure all of them are zero one i keep saying zero one zero but zero one ones but this one here we have thorn swarm there so now we have six druids now we have the official amount that we need for this pop plus avatar wrath strategy to work cleanly without any issues and that's what we're going to keep trucking with but as you can see, it's level 34. So we do have the Moab coming up soon. So we want to make sure we are good for that. So we're gonna throw 
one guy here. I like putting him like right here because you really don't like eventually we're gonna have this guy as our avatar of wrath So I want to focus like my alchemist kind of towards him if I can I'm gonna throw this one here And we're gonna get this one We want this to upgrade two before level 40. So you're not gonna go for a full alchemist You're just gonna go one two. So just a two zero zero for now. We're gonna grab another one. I Think yeah, we're we'll let's grab one more. So we'll grab this guy too but do we want him here? We want him here. This is fine. We'll put him there. We'll grab him and we're gonna grab him to a two zero zero as well. And okay. use brambles if you need to, but like I said, I don't think we're I think we're gonna be fine because that spike factory is killing it. Alright, so we have two two zero zeros and we have six zero one one druids that we have in Oban. We don't have to worry about these guys, and let's keep on going. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this to long reach smart spikes and then we're gonna get the long life ones and we will tear up that moab no problem and what's cool now i just actually learned this the other day i didn't know this and it's really cool someone told me i believe in comments if I believe. but if you put this on smart what's gonna happen is because this is a path or a, a map that only has really one spot that these spikes can go you don't have to worry about putting it close or far nothing like that um what's really cool is at the beginning of each level uh, it, if you have it on smart it shoots out a bunch real quick so watch this see how it just shoots them out real quick you get a few how many is that like 10 you get a chunk of spikes at the very beginning of each level by leaving it on smart so we're gonna do that the entire round do not change that at all and then we're gonna go for these long life spikes and look at that go pretty simple right and now what we want to do just start upgrading these guys heart of vengeance to drew to wrath Let's maybe do another one if we have the money but it really doesn't matter you can throw down your your what do you call your bramble patch but like i said it's not reliant on it to beat this level to, on level 40. so just throw it down just for safe measure but like i said it's not 100 percent necessary but we're going to throw it down and look at it landed perfectly on the track so that's really cool yours may land off the track and you might have some issues but like i said that's why we have this long life spikes down here and you'll be totally chilling so now what we're going to do is prep for the camos that we don't have really anything before but a spike factory so we're going to put our village right here in range of everybody and we're gonna go bigger radius, grow blocker, and then radar scanner. So we need 2160 right now, but we are fine. The rest of this game is gonna be super chill, easy street, and you're gonna be excited about it just because it's super easy. And you're you're probably, if you're watching this because you were interested in how to beat Dark Castle Chimps, not just because you're a fan of the videos, you're like, why didn't I think of that? Because it's super easy, because it is. And the Druid Strat is so amazing. And that's why people will tell me all the time, like, oh, no, 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 it's not the best, or I'll get, comment saying it's not the best but i mean best is what what's the word i'm looking for here best is a matter of opinion but in my opinion i believe it is the best because look how easy this is like there's other strats you can do but what other one can i do without forgetting and messing things up like normally if you guys watch my videos you know that i cannot talk and walk at the same time and so this for me is super easy and super chill so just to recap we have two two zero zero alchemists we have six druids an oban and our spike that's our main little team right here right so what we're gonna do oh we have a two two village as well so we have these guys up to a zero one three we're gonna get all of these guys up to a zero one three okay that's our next goal Let's just keep on going i think we have enough for all of them right now right or real close to it okay so now there now obvious next step we're gonna get all six of them up to a pop lust and you just kind of follow this pattern the whole way through. You always have something to do except for when you're waiting for 40 something million dollars for the Avatar of Wrath. But then that's just, I mean, that's why this is so cool. Just because we're going to have six Pop Plus, two um, four zero two Alchemists, and whatever else I just said. And that will last all the way up till whatever round it takes to get. I think it's like 80 something where we get the Pop or the Avatar of Wrath. And that's how strong the strategy is. And that's why I love it so much. And this little front guy is just a monster because he's up front and the more he pops, the more faster he goes. Oban's giving magic towers a buff and then level 18, he makes them even faster. It just gets out of hand. And then on the worst case scenario that something slips through, that's why we have these guys here. And with that cool little thing that happens where on the beginning of each map on smart, it pops them all out. Look at that. That's just insane. So super cool. I'm just super excited about this guys. I really am. So. Let's just keep on going. Let's get that 2700 for that pop list. 
and we're gonna have six druids and six poplas this time guys not five six so um <laughs> i did put a lot of so i did put a lot more time into this one than i did that last one because i just wanted to get that one out there i found it um, I thought I was obviously I'm sure I've gotten comments on that too that you guys you guys found it as well And you're like, oh my gosh I thought I was the first one and then you go and you go on YouTube and of course a million people have done it I thought the same exact thing I found this out just because I finally read the descriptions of some of the towers and it says this and I'm like doing it. I'm like Oh my gosh, this is amazing And so I just jumped on there did a video and it was a little premature obviously because I was wrong about a couple things But as you can see with five druids not six it still worked it so I know it was Monkey Meadow, but I mean, this is just an amazing strat nonetheless. So we're gonna get our pop less, we're cool here. I'm gonna grab both of these up to a 402. And at this point, we're kind of chilling. So you can put your auto start back on. You could've done it earlier, but I was just busy talking. And um, I'm not even gonna use my tree just so I can show you that, because you guys have seen how random the tree can be. So I'm just gonna leave it and let it do its thing. And I'll probably use it maybe on second round of 63 and then maybe on 78. But um, if I use it at all, those will be the times, but I really don't want to use them because using them at different times gets you different money back and weird things like that. And I don't know the specifics of it all, but I just don't wanna make this, I know I get some comments sometimes saying, I didn't have as much money as you and I don't want it to get a little weird. So we're just gonna make this super simple, a smash and grab. And if you guys have seen my other videos, you know that I just love to attack these blooms. I'm not much of a staller. I'm not much of a thinker. I just, I'm a destroyer. I get in here and I'm just like, what's the easiest path with least or even most resistance? I don't care. I just want to attack these blooms and show them who's the boss. And so that's kind of my goal. And that's what we're going to do here. So we have two alchemists buffed. Um, we have a village. We have six poplas and our open's already at level 11. Awesome. And we have this guy chilling over here. So next step watch this though level 60. look at that bfb just completely gone this is insane this guy already has like a bazillion pops or 19,000. same thing okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rock it all the way to the avatar of wrath for 48,000. now i can breathe a little bit so this whole time i've been hyped on level 12 i've barely taken any breaths and if you if i did you heard them because i'm like <gasps> running out of breath here so i'm really excited about this and um yeah so now i can chill out a little bit and go back to the chill part of this thing so but i'm pretty excited about this and i hope this works for you guys and if this doesn't already prove use this on everything so and you might be wondering like why don't i choose this for a lot of my videos well that would get really boring right and so that's why i try to change things up and for a while like i was strictly only using the mage and the or i guess the the wizard and the ninja and the open strat right but then just from me on my end, like if you guys are just trying to get the medals, rock this for as many levels as you can. And I would like to know below what's the hardest or the craziest map that you did with the druids. And it's just kind of a cool thing to know because I have not yet myself used them for everything. Like I said, I think I just named them all that I used them on. It was Monkey Meadow, Another Brick, a Downstream, um, what's that other water one? Spring Spring, and now this one. And so... I have not myself used them, but I know they will work for a lot of them. I just, when I play games, I can't do the same thing over and over and over. It's just not something I'm, I can do. Like, like for instance, I'm totally weird. Just a weird analogy, but like Smash Brothers, I play with some people that like can do the same slide tackle a million times just to win. Like, I'm not about that. I don't, it's not about the win. It's about the fun for me. So I can't do the same stride over. But if your goal is just to get these black borders and to knock this game out of the park, rock this strategy over and over and over and over and over. I'm not saying it'll work on every map, but it is the best for a lot of maps and it's super easy because look, we're not even doing anything and you can see that they're just wrecking balls right now. And um, back to the earlier too, like the reason I said put this guy here and not over here is for that reason because I did this run on my own a little bit ago just to make sure I had it down pat and uh, I had the monkey here and the alchemist was hitting him, wasting it here because as you know, alchemists can hit up to like three people with the faster throwing and the 402. And we have, what is it, seven? So one of the people aren't gonna always be hit, which is kind of a bummer, but if we spend, so I tried it one way where I bought three alchemists right up front, so I made sure that all of them are always pumped up. And what happens is by 95, you have to have this guy. You have to have it up to a perma spikes. If you don't, you're gonna have a couple things leak through. So I have this mapped out perfectly to where we get the Avatar of Wrath, grab an MIB to pop that level 90 DDT, and then we have this guy up to, I'm pointing at it like you can see my fingers pointing at the screen, and then a perma spike to take care of everything else, so pretty much where we're at. 
And if you've made it this far into the video and you've liked what you've seen so far, again, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. And if you guys have been here recently or in the last six months, the channel's getting real crazy. I think right before I made this, I checked them at like 4,700 subscribers, which I mean, if you guys are like avid YouTubers, you know, it's not that much, but to me it's, it's the world because back in July I had, I think a hundred or 200 subs and now it's this high. It's just insane. And thank you to everyone. Thank you everyone in the discord. Thank you to like everyone following Instagram. You guys are just so cool. And the balloons community was never, I never expected to be like this. Like this is just super cool. And everything about this is super fun. And I love just waking up and reading the comments and seeing the views. Like I'll refresh like a crazy person. I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh my gosh, look how many subs. And then we'll, me and my wife play this game. Like we won't touch my phone for like an hour and then we'll refresh it. And there's like 10 new subs. Like, oh my gosh. Cause like a few months ago, it was to the point where she was getting annoyed at me because I'd be like, oh my gosh, guess how many I got today. And she'd be like, how many? I'd be like one, I got one today. And I was so excited about getting one a day. And now it's like something around 100 a day it's getting out of hand so just thank you guys for this cool experience and meanwhile while i haven't even been paying attention to the game these druids are wrecking balls again right look at this this guy has 70,000 uh 54,000 29,000 29,000 15,000 and 15,000 so i mean a rule of thumb that i like to use so you might think like oh which which one should i make the avatar of wrath the golden boy um, for this one, it's clearly obvious because he's first and he's getting the most range on everything, right? But um, normally what I do is I go for the one that has the most pops. It might not be the one you think. Like on Spring Spring, I thought it was the one up front, but it ended up being the side one for some reason. So, because he's had more range on the screen. So, um, oh shoot, I didn't use the tree for 63. I'm not going to use it for 78 either. Eh, we don't need that. We're not even going to use it. No trees this whole game, guys. I'm not even messing with that. Watch me die after all this. I've been just yapping and yapping and yapping and I'll just die. But um, no, nah, this is how strong this is. So the only thing you might have an issue with is that um, I didn't like triple test round 40. So don't just automatically give a dislike. Just hit me in the email or just try again. Cause like I said, some things in this game are random. And so on 40, the first time I did it, my, like I said, my brambles went in the right path and it worked. Second time didn't go in the right path. So I said, I need to change this up. So instead of um, getting, I think what I did was I bought the Druid or the Alchemist instead of upgrading my Druids first. And that worked for me without the spite or without the brambles I made sure. So, but you know how sometimes those Alchemists can hit the wrong monkey. Like if they hit Oban, it wouldn't be as cool as hitting the first Druid. And that could have caused the problem. So long story short, if you died on 40, that should be the only place. If you didn't die in the first couple rounds, it's going to be round 40. Other than that, you should have zero problems. And if you did, I'm sorry, just try again because there is randomness to this game. You can't predict every little thing, right? Especially when you're playing these expert maps, it gets a little more intense than just like Monkey Meadow where you can just place, what, three towers and knock the whole game out. So uh, yeah, but this is gonna be the one where you can grab your Avatar of Wrath. You don't need to for this whole round to finish. Like you can just keep on trucking, but I like to get him just because why take chances, right? Look at him go, look at Batman go. So we're done. I mean, the game's over, so. I mean, it's not obviously like we can't just leave it like this and go on. So our next goal is to get this to Monkey Intelligence Bureau of $8,100. And yeah, that's our next goal. And this is like, I've been talking really fast and really loud. So I apologize for all that guys. But if I haven't said it yet, like 3000 times, I'm pretty excited. Like this is cool. Like I, as you can see, when I scrolled through in the beginning, I really don't have that many um, black borders on these harder maps. So. Just for this to work this easy, like I just started working on this recently. And so when I saw it working that easy, I'm like, are you kidding me? So I was just super stoked. Like I wasn't expecting this to be so easy. Now it's like making me want to go try like ouch or quad with these guys. Like I doubt that'll work, but if it does, that'd be really awesome because it worked for this like superbly. So um, anyways, though, I got this fourth tier right here for the spike factory. And now what you're going to do is you're going to grab an alchemist and put him on just this right now, just a two zero zero. And what that's doing is allowing him to pop leads with the spikes that he puts out, right? And the reason why that's important is because let's say on 90 or 93, like a DDT pops through, um, there's a chance that this can take it out and you won't just necessarily die. That's not even gonna happen, but like that's just a good prep to have because if you guys know, like this is better, more efficient to have the faster production and the deadly and the perma spike this way rather than using the top path that's popped leads. But the downside is that it can't pop lead, so you gotta throw an alchemist or a village. So um, there's a funny story though in the Discord. There's a Supreme Avocado. You guys have heard of him most likely because he is the race master. If you guys play the races and you go on there, 
he's always on there like you're gonna see him up there so you know his name um he was in the discord and he, sh he showed a picture of the uh i guess he lost on like 98 or 99 to one frozen balloon because a frozen balloon slipped through and he didn't have mib on so they couldn't pop the, the ice or whatever so he wrote he racked through all of his perma spikes and it was just a funny crazy thing i'm sure it was a funny frame at the time because nobody likes getting to 98 or 99 and dying me myself included is purse like that is the most aggravating thing. It's like a baby crying because you've spent 30 minutes you're like i made this i'm a master i got this boom dead at the end and it's just a life ruiner but it happens so what we do is we prep for the best right and i don't have any frozen things to worry about because we're not using any ice towers we don't need any ice towers for this we're just chilling so our goal right now is to get that perma spike obviously um, our Oban's level 20, which means he gave that level 18 buff to those druids. You saw that 90 was just a cinch with those DDTs. Uh, basically, just let it keep rolling. I'm going to drink some water here because my voice is just getting crazy. And um, that's it, guys. I mean, this is pretty fun, though. It is going to get a little sketchy here, though. Not going to lie. Um, the ending is sketchy just because you are going to see... A good amount of balloons or Moab class balloons slipping right through your DDTs, and it's gonna be scary, or right through to the end to the perma spikes, and it's gonna be scary. You just gotta have the grit, man. You guys, you just gotta let it go because it's gonna happen. You can't stop it. I mean, you probably could plan with better. Um, I mean, with these maps and with these towers, they're all situational, right? So, what may work for one map obviously is not gonna work for all maps, or maybe the next map you try. So the point of this is to show you that this works on many maps this exact strategy so i'm not using anything crazy i'm not going to use um not not that they're crazy but i'm not going to use glue gunners i'm not going to use the um, the kylie boomerangs or the moab press boomerangs none of that stuff just because i want to show you that on the, any map this general setup works you guys can tweak it for other maps if you feel more comfortable with that you can use other things like so for instance i'm going to use a sub here at the end just because it's easier because there's water there but you don't need to use a sub you can use, maybe use the overclock on the avatar of wrath just to knock that bat out real quick that's another option you can overclock the perma spikes and let it just soak through after the avatar beats him up I mean, there's so many different options with this but i'm going to take the easy route out because we have water and if you have water i would definitely use the um, what is that thing even called the ballistic thingy Oh, first strike capability. Definitely go for that one. It's super easy. Like I said, if it, oh shoot, we need this perma spike. See, I just messed up and I could possibly die because he's supposed to be perma spiking this whole time. Oh man, always do that. I always do that. I always talk through the important parts. But the reason why I'm freaking out is because um, I needed him to be perma spike right away because he needs to save up a chunk for all the lives I'm about to lose. And I didn't do that. So yeah, we'll get there. I think we'll be fine. We have our tree for backup. So if you're a talker like me and you're afraid you're gonna lose, just hit your tree. But as you can see, everything's pretty chill. Look at this go. It's scary, right? Like it's making me grit my teeth a little bit, but it's working out just fine. So we got this one. We got it to a 402 Alchemist. We have a Perma Spikes. Let's slow this down. Um, I'm gonna go back to the auto start thing here just so we can recap if we want to. We have our Druids. We have our Avatar of Wrath who has 830,000 pops, which is just ridiculous. Um, why don't I choose the Oak thingy? Because this guy has it already. I don't know if it's actually even how that even works because I can't read the upgrade. I'm not sure if I remember if it's in range of the monkeys or if it's in range of the tower if the balloons pass by. In that case, none of these balloons are getting them regen, but eh, it doesn't matter. I love that he has this like death demon circle around his feet. Like he's just ready to go. And if you guys have ever noticed, he totally ran him off track. But look, this is like the Zeus monkey god. This one's like the tree mother nature monkey god. And then this one's like the devil monkey god. So they had some kind of like things going on here. But I love this. This is my favorite tower if you guys didn't know. Because he's just so happy and awesome. And this is like his counterpart who's super awesome and crazy. As you can see here, he's just destroying. And I'm sorry for all my craziness, guys. I'm a weirdo today. And... Just, just live with it. That's how, that's how it happens. But what we're gonna do here, just to prep a little bit easier and make this a little easier on ourselves, we're gonna grab one more alchemist because we have the money too. Why not? So we have an three alchemists, six druids, an avatar of wrath, MIB, perma spikes boosted by this alchemist. Now they can see lead and they're coming out fast because we have them on smart. Remember, so they can throw out that those extra ten in the beginning. And now what we're going to do is we're gonna upgrade this guy to the. Um, What's it called did i tell you first strike capability remember you don't have to use first strike you can use an overclock um also too like there is another path so i told you in the beginning you're gonna get josh's constant achievement and that's basically just this guy just not using any discounts on your spike factory or anything like that 
but you could also use two of these villages and double discount and then build up your okay double discount both of the both of the villages and then buy your spike factory what that does is it keeps the total cost under 40 grand for that perma spike and then you can overclock with 100 percent uptime i'm sure there's more videos of that online i don't actually have one because i don't really use the overclock that much but it's really really awesome because you can constantly keep overclocking your perma spike and it will just mixed with these druids is just insane and it's just super cool so should we do that instead maybe we should i want to show you guys that actually because we i mean you can use the sub because it's super easy but you've all seen the sub i just don't know if i'm gonna have enough money so i'll kind of wait that one out to be honest with you because i don't want to buy i don't know how much my, I'm, <laughs> i don't know how much i'm going to have here at the end sorry guys there's a way out of it um, I don't know how much I'm going to have, so I don't want to like not have either, just for safety purposes. Um, based on this being already level 100, yeah, I don't want to take any chances. But look at that go through. Like, Isn't that scary? Just all those like fortified DDTs rocking straight to the end. But we don't care because we have a boosted perma spike over here. And now we're on level 100. And yeah, so I wouldn't, I don't think I would have had enough for this guy. So good thing I didn't. You could have also not, okay, so... Um, you could have not bought this guy and bought the overclock just to be clarified so I don't look like I'm telling you to buy things you can't. I'm going to use this right away just so you guys can see how cool the druids are when they just attack everything. Like watch when they pop. This is awesome. I have to do a little quick shot because I've been making my like thumbnail super bad lately because I don't know what I'm doing. So now this is like my quick shot face so I can snap it for the thumbnail if you guys weren't wondering why I just all of a sudden eyebrowed there. But that's why. But that is the best strategy for chimps. I believe myself um, you guys can prove me wrong if you want tell me which is better and tell me why it's better don't just say like it's better without any explanation because you got to explain it right like we don't even know why it's the best but I am curious to see what you guys think is the best strategy and what you guys think about this one and also please let me know if you guys are like super low levels and you've never even touched an expert never even touched an advance and you were able to knock this out with just these towers and do it just as simply please let me know because that's the whole point of this channel is to help like you players that haven't really, you know, have the most experience and you guys are just learning like I am and you guys want to get better. So if you guys can just let me give me some feedback on how you guys did with it and if it was easy to understand and that would be cool. And then also, like I said, let me know if you guys know of any better strategies so I can maybe work on that one as well. So, but thank you guys. I hope you guys like this. And if you did, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button. When you guys do that, it helps the channel grow. And it helps me get recognized more on YouTube, which allows more people to see the videos and the channel just to go even crazier. So thank you guys all for that. And um, follow the Discord if you haven't already. And I stream every Wednesday and Saturday. Unfortunately, not this Saturday because I'm working. But every Wednesday and now this Sunday. But usually every Saturday I stream. And it's really fun. We play co-op. We um, All the people from the Discord are in there. We'll do co-op. I'll do challenges. We just chat. We get a bunch of people in the voice chat. It gets crazy. So if you ever wanted just to play co-op with me or anybody else, just let me know and you guys can jump in on that twitch and it's super fun so i hope you guys are there and join the discord if you haven't below and everything i've been talking about is in the description below so if you guys are interested in any of that and i will finally get out of your hair and stop yapping away but thank you guys so much i really appreciate it and i will see you guys next time